Hello watercolor enthusiasts! Today I would like to paint with you. We will paint a street view, a watercolor of a street view in Italy. It's a very loose and easy sketch. It's going to take about 15 minutes to complete and you will be able to paint along with me as I record it in real time uh, speed this video. So come with me! All right, so this is the photograph I will be using for my painting and this is the loose watercolor sketch I've produced in 15 minutes and you are going to see me uh, paint it alone. Okay, so um, I will start uh, by simply defining the dark side of the street and the light side of the street because this photograph has been taken early in the morning and so the sun was very low which means that one side of the street is going to be a lot darker than the other side. So the dark side is going to be the one on the right and uh, the, the, lighter, uh, the lighter side is going to be on the left. So this means that the buildings on the right are going to be a lot darker than the buildings on the left. So I started my painting, my watercolor by uh, adding this uh, light wash, which is going to help me define the two main uh, areas the dark and the light one and also i'm going to quickly add a little bit of blue uh, on on the pavement because actually the pavement is a uh, gray bluish so it's important to to uh, give give this shade of uh, blue uh, since the beginning so then on the left i will simply um, wet the sheet of paper and also i will wait the area where the sky is going to be and I'm going to give it a simple uh, yellow wash. Why yellow you would ask me? Well because uh, as I said this photograph has been taken quite early in the morning and so the yellow was uh, uh, the sky was more in the yellow shades than in the blue ones and so then I'm simply going to give a yellow wash on uh, all of the buildings I'm not paying attention to details at all, as you may see. Um, and then I will simply add a little bit of a more saturated yellow on some of the buildings the, that are further down the street and also the truck that's on uh, that's in this street it as you can see it's actually a pedestrian street but as it it's very early in the morning this truck was actually delivering goods for the shops so um, i will use also my flat brush to paint some windows and also openings in the buildings and for that i will use different shades of brown and uh, I will produce some, uh, some warm grease using brown and blue. And so I'm, I will be working wet on wet here, meaning that the yellow shade I gave to the facades of, of the buildings is not dry yet. And I'm going to give this, um, these strokes with my brush with a darker shade but because of the two are still wet they will uh, kind of go into each other and the edges between the dark areas and the light areas are going to be uh, quite soft all right and once i'm happy i'm just going to add a little bit more of a darker shade on the street pavement and at this point it's going to be important to let it dry before I add any details on the top of this. So this is like my uh, my landscape. It, it does give the cityscape uh, the perspective and the sense of, uh, of light I want it to have but it's really important to give it a nice blow dry before you start adding more details. And so now once the painting is dry, I will add more details on the shop fronts, also the windows and also uh, the roofs of these, some of these buildings uh, because they have quite dark 
shadows. So what is important is that you will uh, decide before painting what is the main subject of your painting uh, so that you can give it more detail. For me, I've decided I will uh, paint this first front drop that you can see that I'm now uh, painting the top of the front drop, uh, the store, uh, storefront and also the truck. These are going to be my main subject and as a secondary object I've chosen uh, this uh, plant that's climbing on the left side of the street and all the rest of it I, I will just leave it very loose without adding any more detail. So at this stage I'm using, I'm using a much more saturated shade of grey and blue so the brush is a round brush, a synthetic round brush which is relatively dry and I'm going to use it to give um, a darker shade on the areas that are close to us which is going to help us um, know which buildings are closer and which buildings are further away. Obviously we are going to have a lot more of these dark shadows on the right side of the street because this is the side of the street that's in the shade and on the left side we are going to have um, these darker uh, shadows again but I'm going to be using a much warmer shade of grey with much more of brown and yellow in it and much less blue. Okay, so this is my storefront and um, there were a few like uh, cards and stuff that, that were outside of it so I'm going to paint them as well using different kinds of blue but I'm going to be doing this by the end of the painting and now I just want to give a little bit more detail on these two uh, arches that are on the left and also some windows but as you can see there is a lot less blue here uh, much warmer shades to give the shades like a, a lighter feeling because this is the side of the street which is in the sunlight okay I will do the same thing for the roofs. And I'll give a little bit more shade on another storefront, which is further away, but obviously with less detail because it's, it's not the main subject of, of the painting. All right. And this is going to be the beginning of the, I will paint actually uh, this um, landscaping bit at the front. You know, there is that um, beautiful tree. I believe it is a wisteria tree, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure of it. Uh, so I'm going to start painting this wisteria tree uh, with first uh, like a loose wash of green, just to suggest the leaves of it. And then I will just simply uh, wash my brush and dry it on a piece of kitchen paper. It needs to be really dry and I will simply use a blue and a red to have like a mix, a purple mix and with a very dry brush I will just uh, use the top of the brush to do some uh, some marks on top of my buildings 
uh, and it's going to give the impression of wisteria flowers you will see it. I'm currently just adding a little bit of darker shades on uh, on this bottom part of uh, of the wisteria tree and now I'm just going to paint the pants and the shoes of this person running on the front because I just want to make sure that I do not forget it all right so uh, I'm just going to add a little bit more detail on this person running and also these cards that were uh, at the shop front they were also in the blue shade And this will also give me time to let the green uh, wash dry so that I can paint on the top of it without being afraid that the two washes are going to mix up. I'm also trying to suggest the pavement on the floor using a tiny brush. And I'll give a little bit more details at the back, but it's important not to give it a little, not to, to give too much details because, as you remember, it's it is supposed to be a very loose sketch, so uh, we need to just suggest the, the things that are on the sketch on the street without really painting them. Okay, so now I will show you how I will paint the wisteria tree flowers using a very dry brush. It's very easy, just what is important is not being afraid to mess up. It was the worst that can happen. If you mess up, then you start again, that's all. I'm using a synthetic brush for that because I find it easier to uh, get it back in shape after that. Because as you can see, the front of the brush is very, um, messy at the moment but once you wash it it's going to go back in shape straight away so that's it friends i i, I hope you did enjoy this this loose sketch of an italian street using watercolor if you did please do not hesitate to subscribe because i'm trying to publish uh, videos like this one every every week thanks for watching and i hope we We'll meet up again on YouTube soon.